Hello, namaste, welcome. My name is Jeremy Ginsberg, and this is a continuation of a vlog series since I, I went raw, started eating living foods. Oh. And this update is coming around four months after I began. Yeah, over four months, four months and a week. And I guess I'll start with the most challenging aspect, which is hives or rashes. Um, my skin is very itchy. And it's been that way for about a week. My whole body has been itching. It's been very challenging. Though I do enjoy it sometimes as a, a challenge, a test, it's, it's a detox. My skin is, is detoxing, it's bringing stuff up and out. And, and that's been pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been able to sleep through the night, wake up itchy. Um, I'm grateful that I have a lot of, of tools and practices to, to help me get through it physically and mentally, emotionally. A lot of breath work, ice baths, been to the sauna. Um, psychological tools. Seeing my, my psyche and, and dialoguing with my inner child. But it's been tough. It's been very, very challenging, very itchy. I nicknamed the entity Itchy Mitch, and, and he's a, a pest. He's here to teach me, he's challenging me. Um, so yeah, that's that's the, the biggest news, I would say. But besides that, I would say, I am saying, it's it's getting easier. The, the Itchy Mitch, the visit from Itchy Mitch has definitely brought up some challenges, some deeper emotional wounds from the past, such as I don't trust my body, I don't feel comfortable in my body, I don't feel safe in my body, I, I want this to go away as soon as possible, let's just go to the doctor and, and numb with the feeling, I don't wanna feel this, I just wanna run away, I don't feel empowered, all these, these deep emotional aspects, which I've talked about in in the previous videos, but this is the first time I've had a physical reaction, a detox. So in a way, I'm, I'm not surprised and it's teaching me a lot. I've been learning so much about skincare using aloe vera, tea tree oil and mint and cold baths and turmeric. And, and for me at this point in my journey, I'm more devoted to the relationship with my body and the relationship with myself rather than how I actually feel or what my body's experiencing. And so even though now it's it's a bit itchy and of course I, I wish it were not like that, um, it's an opportunity for me to listen to my body, to know when enough is enough, to let myself itch if, if that's what my fingers are doing when I'm not super present and mindful and and love myself and be patient and thank my body hey wow you're you're really loud you're telling me something's going on and ask it questions and figure out what to do next so i've gone uh strict fruitarianism on uh, the past week and that's another part of the art and and science and and play of of the lifestyle of living foods or really just the relationship between me and, and what i eat and and everyone as well is knowing when to adapt, when to, to make a change. So I, it's been interesting because since going only fruit, I feel lighter. I feel like I have a lot more energy, but with that energy, it's like panicking and oh my gosh, I want to itch and blah, 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 what to do. But if I sit and I'm really calm and quiet, I'm like, whoa, like I, I'm, I'm back here and I'm watching my body itch, but I'm just like, it doesn't touch me, I'm, I'm okay. I'm able to handle it as Michael A. Singer beautifully puts it. And so to me, 
it's just a sign of, of growth that I am I'm on the right path that uh, even if I, I do breath work or when I've been in the ice bath or the sauna it's like if I'm able to be the eye in the storm if you will it's beautiful it's peaceful it's whew, it's everything I need to, to stay on the path however the most painful aspect of this the skin reaction detoxification hasn't been the actual itching it's the psychosis that goes along with it the fear that oh my gosh i can't handle this i'm freaking out and it's like if i'm not fully present and, and the itching is there then next thing you know I'm, I'm i'm just moving from one part of my body to the next itching and itching and itching and and then i judge myself and i'm frustrated oh no how did i let myself itch and now it's worse and and so it's it's showing me the power of the mind and the power of how I relate to myself. So I'm in a way grateful for that. At the same time, I'm like, all right, Itchy Mitch, you've stayed for a while. Let's uh, move it on. <laughs> I'm ready for, for something else. I'm ready for non-Itchy Mitch, for beautiful skin that, that is nice. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit about the, the dark side of of uh healing you know and and i'm 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 being as as raw and vulnerable as i can there was one day where i i, I cried i i felt like i threw a tantrum like a little kid i was releasing anger shadow boxing i'm grateful i have a men's circle i'm a part of who i was able to open up to and they held the space so that was tuesday and then wednesday i felt this huge release of like all right i got this emotional clearing gone. So I have all this energy here, but I was still itchy. So wearing long sleeves, running around town, trying to get the right things. And and then it's just been this up and down, this roller coaster. And the good news is I do feel like energetically, my body, my soul, whatever you believe in, it's, it's giving me more power to handle the detoxification. Where in the past, I've, I've kind of been in a process of falling down and I wasn't able to get back up. Where with this, it's, yeah, my skin is itchy, but I'm, I'm still here standing. Fall down seven times, stand up eight, itch 10. <laughs> That's kind of been my, my life these past week. So I'm, I'm still here and still on the path, still loving it, eating less. I haven't been really hungry. I've had all this energy. I'm waking up in the middle of the night can't sleep, wake up 4 a.m., sleep for like 45 minutes, 5 a.m., itch, 6 a.m., I'm like, okay, 7. And I have all this energy, and in a way I'd rather sleep because then I don't have to itch and I'm not going crazy. So, so it's been a process, and clearly there's a lot still <laughs> that's coming through as I talk about this for now eight minutes or so. Um, it also brought up a lot of fear around like, Ooh, if I don't go to the dermatologist, I'm wrong. And and this deeper part of like, I can heal myself, I trust my body, uh, of, of judging myself for not seeing a doctor. There's one Tuesday, I was like, I need to go to the hospital, I need to fix this, this like panic. And to me, it was just so clear how the panic was the source of the suffering, the biggest, the greater suffering. And the skin was just this invitation to explore what's deeper. It's like a, the symptoms are a message from the higher self. I've heard a, a teacher tell me that, that the symptoms, all symptoms are just a message from the higher self inviting you to go deeper. And I feel like I've been doing that. And I'm like, all right, when are these symptoms gonna go? <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, relating to the body has definitely has taught me about that and i did a coffee enema yesterday um i've been slowly doing a little urine therapy uh took a break from it I'm not so sure to be honest if i want to keep doing it but i'm i'm opening up i'm, I'm doing everything i can to to be as healthy and happy as i can and Yeah, and to me, it's, again, it's not about necessarily feeling good all the time, rather feeling okay with how I'm feeling all the time, or just feeling how I'm feeling. 
So in this moment, if I really get quiet, I can just like meditate and, and be in my light body, be the awareness and, and identify more with that rather than feeling irritated by the itchiness of my skin. Even as I make this video, the more I focus my awareness on speaking, then the itchy mitch isn't bothering me as much. So lots of teachings there. Anyways, that's what's present for me now. But besides that, we've been eating fruit all day, um, slowly coming off the, the low mucus foods, such as avocado or fats. Uh, we still like our nuts and seeds. I'm still enjoying salt. I love salt. I, I feel like salt, it's, it's just very grounding for me. So uh, that may be one of the last things I give up, if ever. And maybe I just need to let go of the, the judgment that I have around how much salt I love. Um, and caffeine, still enjoying a cup of tea every morning and sometimes afternoon. Kombucha is, is in between. So having this, this detoxification symptom, it's been a, a chance for me to kind of go really strict. So for about four days, I just ate all fruit, no nuts, seeds, no fat, and then I had a little avocado. Today we actually celebrated my, my fiance uh, has a new coaching client, so we were eating some durian. And I'm not sure exactly if it's super extreme polarizing one side or the other. I just feel lighter when I eat just grapes, watermelon, papaya, mango, passion fruit, etc. I've uh, been enjoying a lot of bananas, especially at night. It's good uh, bedtime food or frozen bananas. It's also really hot here. It's been like 90 to 100 every day. So I've been avoiding the sun with my, my skin these last few days. Um, let's see. Yeah, I just can tell my, my sensitivities is going up, especially with with this recent skin outbreak. So the way I see it, I'm trying to see everything as a gift. So as much as this is discomforting and uncomfortable, itchy, annoying, irritating, I notice I'm so much more sensitive. So the first maybe 48 hours, I was just like, a whiny, bitchy little kid, like, oh, I don't want this to go away, mommy, go to the doctor, fix me, heal me, this is okay. But then now I'm like learning to accept it. And that's another piece of wisdom that's come through. It's like acceptance is the horse and relief is the carriage. And I was trying to put the cart, the chariot in front of the horse. I was trying to feel the relief before I accepted what's going on. And, and maybe you relate. I feel like that is, is common in the, the Western allopathic medical system. It's like, I don't know what's going on. I hate it. I don't want to feel this, fix me. And that's how I was feeling. Give me a pill, anything. I just want this to go away. And now, once I accept it, I can rub my skin a little bit and it feels so good. It feels so light. It's, it's very peaceful. And, and because my skin is opening up to release, I can enjoy the benefits of that. And so I'm just trying to find the, the silver lining, if you will. And the, the trick for me is like, I'll be itching, itching. I'm like, okay, a little bit. And then <laughs> to, yeah, to give myself a, a loving, gentle skin tickle instead of just itching it. And it's also brought me back to my practices. And basically last week I put everything on pause, you know, I had a couple calls, coaching calls and commitments that I com had to go to the, the minimum, but it wasn't like, I'm gonna grow my business, I'm gonna go and go through all these online courses and more and more and more, it was a good opportunity just to, to trim the fat and come back to what does my body need in this moment? And, and I'm still pretty much in that space, which is, which is nice. This, opportunity to prioritize self-care and self-love. And I, I truly believe that if everyone in the world did that, maybe not every day, but most days, the world would be a better place. So I'll do my best to, to lead by example. Um, anything else that we need to share here? 
Um, oh yeah, one more thing, at least one more thing. I, I did have a, a journey with uh, teacher plant, plant medicines and I've actually had, I believe two, maybe three since the 90 days, uh, sorry, now 120 and 125 or so. And to me, it was such a deeper, more profound peak experience. And it was very clear that my body is more open, more receptive to the healing of the plants, to the wisdom of the spirits of the plants, however you perceive. And I asked my teacher about that. And, and one thing, my spiritual teacher, super, super spiritual. And one thing he was saying is, is that the, the plants come from the earth. And since going raw, my relationship with the earth is totally evolving and changing. I think I talked about that in my last video. If not, I've, I've been going out and, and giving fruit and flowers and connecting with the birds and in my finding my, my little shamanic path of just connecting with nature and listening and, and singing and dancing and talking to the, the mother as if she's, she's a woman and expressing my gratitude, praying. And I feel strongly that the, these teacher plants, in a way, are rewarding me. They've seen that I've opened up. And, and spiritually, they can, I feel it at least, that I'm receiving so much more from, from the, the plant. And I had some really powerful peak experiences. And, and, and I've had maybe three, four years on this shamanic path, plant medicine path, and peak experiences like never before, more profound than the first time. Maybe the first time it was like, you know, open me, opening me up to, wow, what's this? But I, I definitely feel that the relationship is, is becoming more wholesome and harmonious as I, I, I eat what my body wants, as I yeah, eat the fruits, eat the living foods. So that was, that's just been an icing on the cake. Now, logically speaking, scientifically speaking, I just feel my body's more open. My body is light. I have less heaviness, less processed food in the way. So I'm, I'm more receptive to experience the, the chemical changes that take place when I ingest a plant like that. But it's been beautiful. It's been powerful. And yeah, that's one thing that I, I was hesitant to share in my last video because I was kind of still feeling out what's going on. Well, is this safe to share and, and whatnot? But that's, that's something that's been, that's been beautiful. And my sleep overall is just much better. Besides the itchy Mitch thing, I've been sleeping better and feeling grateful for that. Because obviously there's always a couple things I'd like to improve here or there. But sleep is good, feeling better, healthier. And another interesting thing, the main thing that brought me to this healing path um, and, and had me experimenting with teacher plants and breath work and Gerson therapy and master fast and these other systems and, and, and paths and modalities was chronic pain in, in my head, chronic headaches. And to me, a good sign that things are moving with the Shakti is flowing, that I'm expanding and it's, it's flowing, it's moving is with the skin, I haven't had as many headaches. It's been a full body <laughs> headache in a way. But to me, that's, that's a good sign where it's coming down into my skin and moving out where before it's just like stuck in one place and I feel heavy. And so what I'm looking for is, is just change. And again, it's all a story of what I decide to believe and I don't think my mind will ever understand exactly what's going on but i'm grateful for that i haven't had many headaches and i've been itchy but i'm not having a headache and i've actually learned that suffering is suffering as my spiritual teacher or my coach spiritual coach says it's like if you're a dolphin in the desert you know you miss the ocean you crave water and and that has been such a, a deep and true teaching in in this the skin realization, because when I have a headache or I'm feeling fatigued or depressed, low actually, try not to use the word depressed. 
<laughs> my teacher was like, whenever you wake up and say, I feel depressed, well, that's a depressing thought. <laughs> so I'm coming up with new language, feeling low or hibernation or recharging. Um, anyways, it's, yeah, it's tough. I suffer. And, and having itchy skin has been the same. Yeah, I don't have a headache. Yeah, I have energy. I can do stuff, but it's, it's taking me back to being a dolphin in the desert. I'm like, oh my gosh, all I want is water. Give me some water. Where's the ocean? And then I woke up in the middle of the night a few times like that. It's like, it doesn't, ah, it's like this manic panic. And I even, last night I went downstairs and, and dipped myself in a bath. I took an ice bath last night, so it was still cold. So I had to go and, and get some, some quick relief, literally water. Um, so learning about myself, still on the path, four months. And uh, I'm, I'm going to keep going, continue on this journey. Um, we did have a, a rice day, a treat day. We've actually had two. My fiance's had a lot more. Um, I think I'm done with that. I think this is a sign my body is like, we want just living foods. But before, and I've said maybe 90%, 95, we've had a little treat here or there. I've had rice maybe four times, five times, you know, some cooked pumpkin. But at least now I feel like I had the rice Saturday. Sunday was all right, Monday was the day the skin flared up. So I'm just gonna stay strict for now and listen to my body and, and not to the cravings. So, all right, this video is whew, getting long, but I miss you guys. I wanted to share and, and I, I really love talking too. So um, thank you for, for tuning in. Um, also, I know there's a lot of smart people watching this and one thing I'm hesitant to share when I'm going through the process is because is I'm not always open to, to everyone's advice and open to suggestions. I, I want to find them from within. At the same time, um, by the time I post this, maybe I'm still going through the skin thing, maybe not, maybe it'll come back. So if there's any natural, natural ideas of, of how to, to heal, how to detox in a, in a loving and open way that's in harmony with, with nature and the healing process. I'm open to them. If anybody has any experience with urine therapy, <laughs> that's one thing I'm like, but I've read some stuff. It seems to be powerful and people have been doing it for thousands of years. Um, Cause before my whole skin was itchy, my left foot, it's been having fungus for a while. So that's been a, a small thing in the past week, but before that, it's just as annoying. So who knows, maybe it started in my left foot and then it spread to my whole body and now it's on its way out and then everything's gonna be great. I'm just doing my best to go with the flow, to trust, to enjoy the challenge, just stay, stay faithful and, and grateful and ah, I love myself. I love you, man. Mm. And my little wizard says hi. That's my new nickname for my inner child. That's been a new little um, tool I've been using. Uh, I had a session that's up on YouTube as well with Keith Wilson, the chocolate shaman. He helped me reconnect with my wizard. So my little wizard is using the magic. I'm doing what I can to heal myself, to love myself, to feel myself, to not itch myself. And... That feels like a good place to sign off. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. My partner and I are putting on bi-weekly breathwork events. So stay tuned or check out the details in this video or on my channel. If you are interested in breathwork uh, and we do live music and community and connection, it's very powerful and fun and healing and empowering. So please check that out. And if you're still watching this, please subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, all the good stuff. Thank you so much. Please smile, love yourself, and have a great day. Blessings and peace.